Since I got my first 3D printer back in 2016, I've been printing a lot of different stuff. Some of it useful and uh, some of it less useful. This is one of my favorite prints. It's a PC case for ITX motherboard and it's using a Pico power supply unit. You can see that there's the blue PCB inside the case and that converts 12 volts to all the different voltages the PC needs. I also made this um, on off switch matching the color of this uh, outer shell. The print is a bit rough and uh, I probably wouldn't accept it something like this today. Back when I printed this it was uh, the best I could do. I still like this design and uh, enjoy using it. This PC needs an external 12 volt power supply and I'm using a blade server power. I got this from eBay a few years back. This 3D model isn't my own design. I found it on Thingiverse and I've seen a few variations of it, but this is the one that is published currently and that you can print yourself. And I'll put the link in the description. It's not a difficult print, but it takes a long time, especially the outer shell. This model was heavily inspired by the Mac Pro 2013, a product that got mixed reviews and wasn't Apple's finest hour. Still, it's an interesting design. I need a new drive for my PC and I found this very cheap SSD. It's uh, less than $20. And I suspect this case is mostly air, so I wanted to crack it open and see what I could find inside. And uh, I think the warranty maybe isn't valid anymore, but I don't really care about that. So I had to try to pry it open. I used this tool and also the screwdriver, and I wasn't all that careful with this uh, unit. And as you can see, the inside is mostly air. It shouldn't be too difficult to design a small casing for this and uh, get something that matches better my very compact trash can PC. Heading over to Fusion, I tried to design a case, a two-part case, that I could print and uh, fix with only one 3mm screw and use a brass insert on one side and just a notch on the other side to keep this very compact. And this is of course a very light part as well. In Fusion you can change the visual style and show it also like a solid model like this. And you can see this small post that will keep the SSD card in place. I'm happy with the design and send it over to the Bamboo Studio. And having a look at the parts, I can see that one of the parts are should be printed the other way around with the two notches pointing up and uh, when I've done that then it should be ready for printing. The print will start shortly and uh, this is only a 33 minute print. Starts off with the prime line to get the nozzle ready. I'm printing this in red uh, ABS. It's called ESUN ABS Plus which is a very easy filament to print with on this printer. This is a Bamboo Lab P1S printer. And the first layer goes down nicely. Print is almost complete. Uh, 
and that's it. Nozzles being cleaned and the platform is lowered down. And everything cools off. The parts look nice and I can take them out for a closer inspection. I try to test fit the two parts, see if they fit together. Just have to figure out which way is the right one. And this seems to be it. Yeah, looking good. The next step is to attach this case to my PC. And I have already put in place the uh, brass insert, as you can see. And just have to maneuver this in place. And this is what it looks like when it's been fixed to the PC. And that's it for this project. Bye for now.